to another fun-filled day at JTEC. Today, we will be going over the removal of the input shaft of the transmission. As you can see, I've already taken off the shift cover, which is right here. These are your shift forks, and this is your shifter. So if you come on over here, this is our input shaft. These bolts hold on the input shaft. I will now take them off. Now once those are off, this plate comes off, and as you can see in here, we have a snap ring, we have the roller bearing, and we have another snap ring on here which is holding this all together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take off this snap ring. I'm going to take off this snap ring. Maybe. We have those snap rings out. We'll be able to hook up our main shaft puller and pull that out. All right, as you can see, we have the puller on, the retention ring on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start tightening this down. And what this does is this sets the screw on the front of the input shaft, and then it begins. To pull off that bearing. Alright, right now I'm tight. And now start to pull that bearing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Boom. As you can see, got the input bearing, got the input shaft. Take off the spacer ring, and inside here we have another snap ring. Which is always super fun to get off. Have it. That snap ring comes off. We take out an input shaft. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to check the teeth, make sure they're not worn, cracked, bent, or broken. As you can see, we have a couple of broken teeth here, worn teeth. Uh, you want to make sure there's no rust. Make sure all our grooves are clean. These are what the snap rings sit in. You want to make sure that your shaft is clean. You want to look in here and you want to make sure that where the teeth sit in are also not bent, cracked, or broken. Overall, you want to check the spaces of where the snap rings sit, make sure they're clean. And go ahead and you can make any necessary adjustments that you would need at this time. Uh, replacing what needs to be replaced. We're going to go ahead and we're going to reinstall this input shaft. Do that. 
slide the input shaft back in. We take the snap ring. Now it's just the reverse process. If this were on a re real vehicle, uh, we would be replacing all these snap rings with new ones. We would probably be replacing this input shaft because it is damaged. And just go ahead and push that in until it locks itself in. You're gonna go ahead and you're going to take Big snap ring. Take it. Just now we're going to inspect it. Okay. Alright, we're going to inspect our bearing. As you can see, we have the bearing. There's a little bit of tension, I guess you could say, in this bearing, meaning there's not a lot of free spin. The bearing should spin a lot easier than this. Uh, we look in here. We do have metal shavings all over. Uh, this bearing would be replaced because it is a bad bearing. But like I said before, this is just a trainer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to reinstall this as is. Uh, I'm going to go grab the bearing installer. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to push this bearing back in place and seat it properly. Alright, this one is a bearing seater. As you can see, it doesn't have the screw. This is just to seat the bearing properly. Now what you're going to do... Hit it squarely just to seat the bearing. You only want to drive it in so far because now we're going to need to get this snap ring on here and then we can drive it the rest of the way home. Alright, we got that snap ring on. You want to just expose the snap ring opening. Once that snap ring is now in place, we can go ahead and we can apply our front cover back on.
Great day.